A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video.
Hello, welcome to another studio vlog. Um, we have a little bit of some catching up to do. I took a break from uh, filming for the most part for like about a week just because sometimes I like to make sure that I incorporate breaks even if I feel like I don't necessarily need it because it just keeps me feeling refreshed and keeps me uh, wanting to really make good content for you guys. So yeah, I just did some regular art stuff like always. Uh, I started crocheting this last night. It's supposed to be a collar. Um, not a super amazing start because it's like super warped, but um, I'm getting better. I'm doing Katie Jones Knits um, collar pattern and been really into crocheting this. Uh, hopefully gonna finish it by the end of the week because it's, it's a small project. It's just like a little collar. Um, but today is Valentine's Day, first of all, so um, I'm gonna be busy tonight. So I wanna get some work in. I've had these uh, polymer clay um, earrings just like sitting there for a while. I just have like the um, head pin in and they've been sitting here because I've been trying to figure out if I actually wanna go through with them and stuff. And I think I do. I'm gonna try to uh, sand them with like my little drill um, to get the shape a little bit better. And then I will go ahead and paint them. Because when I made them, I still felt like they were a bit big for what I wanted, but I think now I'm like, it's fine. Um, so now I wanna make them into earrings for the next shop update. Um, I ordered stickers for the shop update as well. Some Patreon rewards came in, super happy with them. Um, yeah, I spent all of last Friday working on a um, carving, I forgot what it's called, oh my gosh. A block print. Um, so I can block print it onto totes and for some reason it's just like the ink is not working super great um, I'll show you guys what my tests looked like um, And you guys can let me know your input But I might try just like loading it up with a lot more ink and then seeing how it looks because right now It just doesn't look as dark as I would like but I really want to um, block print t-shirts and totes because I've had totes um, sitting around for a while, just like blank totes, and I painted some for Halloween, and I thought about doing that again, but I kind of wanted to do something that wouldn't be as time consuming, but was still like handmade, and I love doing block prints, so I decided to try that out, because um, I had all the supplies, I just needed to get the Speedball fabric ink, um, and I might try it on t-shirts, we'll see. I'm gonna try fidgeting more with the tote. I just think the canvas tote is like really thick, so the ink, doesn't like go in as dark. So I'm gonna try really loading it up and testing it out a few more times, but uh, yeah. have gotten so chunky and big. Oh, Mrs. Purr. Mrs. Purr.
Hello, happy Tuesday. I've had my coffee for like 10 minutes and I'm already almost done with it. But um, I am just finishing up some, well, actually all of the uh, acrylic pin designs to get them sent out so I can finally get them manufactured because I think that's the manufactured product that's gonna take the longest um, to arrive and to get made. Uh, and I really want to not take super long on the shop update. I'm aiming for like mid-March, probably. Um, but I am right now watching one of Jamie Green's studio vlogs. And I didn't even know that they did studio vlogs, but it came up on my um, YouTube homepage. And I was really excited because Jamie Green is a huge 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 artistic inspiration for me i'm even like one of their patrons i love their art so much and just them they're so fun and silly um and in this most recent studio vlog they are talking about how um watching studio vlogs makes them feel fomo um and i just want to say same <laughs> because i used to really enjoy watching studio vlogs and I still do now but I think now there's a, always a sense of like FOMO for me because I think I've reached a point in my life where I've kind of like settled and things aren't changing as quickly or like growing as quickly which is fine like I'm happy but I think that's not as exciting um, to show in a studio vlog and sometimes I feel the pressure to like always be showing new things and showing like how exciting my life is and my life like isn't exciting and that's okay um you know i the life of an artist is sitting at home for nine hours a day um sometimes not seeing friends and stuff at least for me uh sometimes not free seeing friends and stuff for a while um and that's fine, like I said, I'm happy with my life and I'm super grateful for it, but when it comes to posting videos on YouTube, I kind of feel that I need to be more exciting or have something exciting to show. And I just really like that they addressed it because I I felt very alone in that feeling. So I I really like that they were like, you know, I don't want to do that because I don't I don't want to cause people to feel FOMO either. But yeah, I just feel like like I said, I reached a point in my life where things are not changing and growing as rapidly because, you know, I'm at like a stable point, which is great. But I feel like before um, and in the last year of my studio vlogs, I was changing so quickly and growing so quickly and so many things were happening. You know, I was trying so many new mediums. I moved out, like I started my Patreon, just so many new things were happening and now they're not as much, which again is fine, like I'm totally happy, but it makes me feel, I guess, less worthy <laughs> of posting videos, um, which I'm sure I feel like everyone has this feeling, but I just wanted to talk about it um, because if you're feeling that way, literally, I feel that way all the time. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of other artists feel that way. Literally, Jamie Green said they feel, you know, that sense of FOMO as well. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about it. Like, I think I've been feeling really down about that for a long time and feeling alone and even ashamed of feeling this way. But, you know, I feel normal in it now and I'm allowing myself to feel it and I'm allowing myself to process it and kind of be like, you know, I don't always have to be doing super crazy, exciting new things. I can just kind of be like, guys come hang out with me you know i have a pretty boring week of work ahead but i want to share it with you guys and i think that's totally valid and i think it shows a more realistic scope into what daily life as an artist is like just some morning thoughts that jamie green has triggered into my brain <laughs> Bye.
so pretty sure I ended yesterday with painting uh, these little trays and now I'm starting my morning with them. Uh, yesterday I got like a background color coat onto them and now I'm just painting all the little details right now. Um, these were originally supposed to be more peach trays like the ones that I the other ones that I'm working on right now but I decided to just leave them blank and paint stuff on them because painting now is like my favorite medium painting and digital favorite mediums um, and I have a lot of fun and it's just very calming and peaceful for me to paint um, so yeah I've been doing that but I think in a little bit I'm gonna wrap it up and move on to the next thing which is probably gonna be sending the backing cards out backing card design out for the acrylic pens because I sent out the acrylic pen designs but I haven't sent out the backing card designs so I need to do that but that'll be quick So I just set up some art trades that I've been meaning to um, send out for a while. Uh, I was just wanting to wait for like product and the shop update and all that. And I also packaged some bags of a bunch of Mexican candy to send out to them as well. I'm not going to say who because I don't want it to be spoiled for them. Um, but yeah, I have these two boxes and I'm thinking about sending one to another person, not as an art trade, just like as a gift. Uh, but yeah, they're not done because I do want to include one handmade thing for each and then I have to like wrap them up nicely and everything. But I decided to just like go ahead and get the boxes started so I could um, have a place to put all the products that I set aside for them. If you made it to the end of this studio vlog, thank you. I very much appreciate you. Um, I love that you enjoyed watching this video that I made for you. Um, but this was the last day of my week and I ended up... The only thing I was really doing was crocheting. Uh, I was still working on that collar that I had mentioned. Um, at this point that I'm recording this voiceover, I have finished the main part now I just need to do like the border and the little ties so I'm very excited to fully finish it up um, but yeah I just decided to close out my week with crocheting I really didn't work much this day because it had been quite a long time since I had seen my family especially my mom um, so this Friday you know we kind of went out and shopped for a bit and then we went to eat and stuff so I really enjoyed um, taking the day and spending that time with her so yeah i didn't have much for friday but um i did have this crochet clip so i wanted to close out this vlog um by showing you guys but again thank you so much for reaching the end i appreciate you very much i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one So before I close out today's vlog, I'm going to quickly talk about the sponsor for the video, Squarespace. I love Squarespace, I've always used them to run my website and my online store. They have some really great tools to help me out do just that. Designer interface, super easy to use, beginner friendly. Commerce tool, helps me see how my business is running. And website analytics, helps you see how my website is performing. So if you're interested in a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com and use my code for 10% off your first purchase.